Hi, in this video from tvtrade.ie we're basically going to show you how you can set up your router um, to access your DVR uh, remotely from say a smartphone or laptop or PC or something like this. Okay, So the first thing to say before we even start this is there's a multitude of different types of routers on, on the you know on the market these days and um, thousands of them so basically it would be very impractical for us to do a video for each one and there's actually a website called portforward.com which actually gives you all the information on how to do it on the vast majority of routers on the market okay and to for your particular router it should be actually in the documentation that comes with your router but you you know yourself nearly the first thing that gets thrown away when you buy one of these things is it's chucked in the bin so port forward is very handy in this regard and all you have to do is simply choose your router brand from the drop down list when you do that then this um drop down list below the top one will give you model numbers and when you click on that and then uh, you know select the one that's applicable to you click search and when you go in there it just gives you basically a whole load of information how you can set up port forwarding on your particular router including screenshots it'll give you things like um it'll give you links to default ip addresses for root for your particular router maybe the default password stuff like this okay so it's just an absolutely brilliant site and very handy and basically it's essential for anybody that's installing um installing dvrs that want to be accessed remotely and things like this but for the sake of our video what we're actually going to do is we're using one here that uh, one of our mates gave us that he doesn't use any longer he um he just has a basic um the gray colored aircom router okay which an awful lot of people would have so this this um video is going to be basically um made uh using this particular router okay so to log into that um that standard gray colored aircom router all you have to do is type in this address here it's 192.168.1.254 okay that's 192.168.1.254 other routers may have similar ip addresses but they may be slightly different and again you should cont you should um look up your own documentation or portforward.com or you know failing that ring your local or your actual broadband provider and they will give you this information okay so i'm just going to log into the router here now so when you normally log into this particular router you'll get a page like this and they'll be full of numbers and letters and all sorts of things okay so what you actually want to do is you want to go into expert mode so yes we want to enter expert mode you want to go to configure now by default it'll look something like this but where you want to go is advanced and you want to go to NAT. Now, an interesting point is that on other routers, it may be called NAT, but it also may be called port forwarding. So that's just a point to note, okay? So when you click into NAT, you come up with a page like this. And what NAT actually stands for, as you can see there, it stands for network address translation. But as I say, it may be called port forwarding or something like this on, um, on a different model and make a router, okay? So what we want to do here is, there's a list of things that are um, set up by default um, in this particular router. And basically it, it allows um, com communication through the router for these programs. Uh, some of them would be games, other of them would be just applications and things like this. But obviously our DVR isn't going to be in it by default. So what we want to do is go define custom service. So we're looking to do port forwarding, so that's fine. So we leave that ticked and then we click on next. So I'm just going to simply call this my DVR. Okay, this is the important thing. The port range is 9000 to 9000, okay, and the, the base host port is 80, okay, and the protocol is TCP. Now, depending on your router, and again, you should look at the portforward.com website, this part of the process could be completely different. The settings will be the same but it just may be set up differently. And actually by default, some of the ports are set up by um, by default in this particular router and will just work. And also, um, I should say, uh, what you might find is on certain routers, when you put in this 80, it won't allow you to do it because it's already been used by something else. But I'm going to show you a little trick in a minute then how you get around that, okay? So anyway, we have the service name, we have the global port range, we have the base, uh, base host port and we have the protocol now the last thing that it doesn't actually ask me for here is um 
the port we're going to use for mobile access which is 15961 which I've shown in another video when we set it up on the DVR okay so that's something else that it may be asked for um, on different types of routers okay so I'm just going to click next now you see here error base port range overlaps with HTTP okay so this can happen from time to time but the easiest way around this is just change that to 81 and go next so the NAT service has been added so we'll just click done so we're pretty much nearly finished now at this stage so what we want to do is we want to select from the list we want to select my DVR okay so it was down the bottom of the list there and we want to go enable and you can just leave everything as default and just click on enable and there it is it has been added now and that port is open on our um, or sorry them ports are open on our router and we should be able to get through as long as you have your DVR set up correctly and um, you should be able to get straight through from your phone once you install the KMI app okay so that's basically it in a nutshell how you can configure um, your ADSL router or you know any type of router in fact um, you know to access it access your DVR remotely from say a smartphone or a PC